Stephanie, go ahead. Okay, this is kind of like Kaylee's story when she was traveling out. When um, I came across, it looked like somebody's pet that had probably jumped out of a truck or whatever and was on the side of the road. And it, I got really emotional about it. And then I tried to reflect that I immediately created a story as if it were my dog. And and then I thought, well, maybe what I should be doing is just experience the emotion, not to follow it. Is that is that what is that proper? Is that what I should be doing? Because I know I did go to a story to begin with, and then I stopped myself. Yeah, there, there's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong at all. Um, with emotion. So, experience it all you would like. The, 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 um, the point of awakening isn't to come to an end of emotion and feeling if anything, it's so that you can actually feel and experience these feelings on a deeper level, but without all the ups and downs. In the meantime, when an emotion rises up that feels like sadness or that sort of thing, yeah, just observe it, see it. It's okay. You can feel it. It's okay. You can give that body and mind all the permission in the world to have all those experiences. It's all good. But as long as you're realizing, and so again, you can know in the true realization of who you are, the stories end. I've said this many times to you. You can't see beyond the story of another until you're able to see beyond the story of yourself. And in this case, you're making a, a story, your mind immediately goes to the place of, oh man, if that was my, if that was my baby, if that was my dog, and there's, that's where the connection is. Um, and again, there's nothing wrong with that. Just realize that, and I say realize, you know that it's a story. You can know that you're not the one that dies, nor are you the one that was born. You can know that the that animal, that dog, did not just die, but if anything is transitioning and energetically, and yet you still create the story. And there's nothing wrong with that. But in the re in the true realization of what you are, you're able to. You can even connect if you want in those ways. But you don't, you're not attached to the connection. You're not attached to that story. And so you can have all those feelings that you want, but you're not attached to them. And that's the, that's the key. That's the secret. Don't, don't be attached. Don't attach yourself to those feelings. Enjoy them or feel them and experience them however you would like, but no need to attach to them. I have personally gone through lots in my journey, lots of moments and times where Beth thought I would become a robot. And she's like, you don't feel anymore. You don't care about anything anymore. Like, I know you love, but it doesn't seem like you love anybody anymore or any less than anybody else. And she, she would say this to me. I've had so many people say this to me over the years. But she still, you know, she's even, I don't remember when the last time, probably weeks ago or something. She said, well, you love everybody. I said, I love you, baby. She goes, well, you love everybody. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I do. But my point is, Stephanie, that in my journey, I've experienced lots and lots and lots of times where I was di very disconnected from all those feelings, all those experiences. And so nothing moved me really one way or the other. Like I wasn't moved in an ecstatic, joyous way. And I wasn't moved in a really negative way. I was just right there steady and uh, and that's fine but I, I feel like I 
experience that in this body and mind so that I can now enjoy those feelings if I want. Now, I don't have, I couldn't tell you the last time I had a negative feeling, like a negative where I saw an animal or I saw, you know, where I felt negative. But more than ever, I can connect with feelings if I so choose. Just not attached to them. So in that moment that I'm experiencing it, ah, this is good. This is good to connect with this feeling. This is good to, to feel this in my mind and in my body. And then as that moment unfolds and transitions into the next, you let it go. The vast majority of what awakening is, is learning to let go. So you, you recognize that the problem for people is that they are a story. The person, I refer to the person, I'm just talking about the story that you believe you are. You are a story. And if you are a person, you are the story, then you are always making up stories about yourself and about others, about everything. And... very attached to every one of those feels along the way yeah and so you're you're riding real high in moments and low in others this this uh, suffering this is suffering and it's all due to attachments not to the emotion it wasn't the emotion that brought suffering it was the attachment to it I am so sad or I am so this Instead of, oh, there it is. I can enjoy this in my mind and body or feel it, experience it without attachment. The trick is to learn to let go of it. Because what you end up doing is you end up carrying that layer of story along with you as a burden. It becomes a weight that you're carrying around. And, uh, when you walk into my presence, I can tell immediately whether you're carrying weights around with you. <laughs> and um, you just don't have to carry them. There's grace here in this moment to let all of your burdens go, to let all of the past go, let all of the burdens go. and. Watch them melt away into the non-existent yesterday that they belong to. Maurice, go ahead. Is there another level of not even having to let it go? I mean, yeah, of course, if you don't attach, trick. if you don't attach, you never have to let it go. You must learn to let it go. As long as there is a self, a person, you have to you have to learn to let it go. Again, this is the awakening. Pro this is the awakening. So, um, I, I tell you guys all the time, don't. There's nothing you need to pursue. There's nothing you need to become. This humanity is in this wild search for the divine, for a peace, for joy, for bliss. And this whole time they've been in their very nature, all of these things. But as long as you believe you are a person, as long as you have a belief about yourself, then you must learn to let go until finally you let go of even the belief that needs to let go.